My name is Chad Riveras, and I'd like you to join me across these next 10 minutes while we go tour your next place of residence. Welcome home. A home so beautiful and so beautifully built in the Cape Dutch fashion that it actually has history tied to it. So much history, in fact, that the owners went to great lengths to refurbish the home without touching on those architectural feats that make it something to be admired no matter what generation you find yourself in. And a home that needs to be this admired definitely needs a place for your guests to sit as they come through that stunning front door. You see to the left of that front door, a security system that keeps your whole home guarded and throughout the home, you'll also find camera and home automation systems. Again, bringing this home up to the 20th century while still keeping all of its charm with this architectural style. Right here in this guest area, not only do you see beautiful flooring, but also a stunning gas fireplace with a glass opening behind it, looking out to your front gate. And then when we talk lighting, we've got scone lighting in the wall and down lighting across, not only the ceiling above you, but this incredible cantilevered ceiling that runs the length of one of the grandest hallways I think I've ever been in. Let's walk down this hallway and you can appreciate not only the width, but the length of it and just how special the beautiful flooring makes it seem. Brings a lot of warmth to the room. But talking about warmth, what brings coziness and families together more than a room set out to do just that. Behind me, you can see an inbuilt bookshelf with this stunning mahogany ladder that slides across left and right, allowing you to get to those upper shelves. Again, a continuation of this stunning flooring, probably some of the nicest flooring I've ever seen. And a lot of that has to do with the texture and the size of the panels. Above us, a bulkhead ceiling, down lighting. But this is a place I'd assume that you'd want to sit down with your family, relax, enjoy the floor to ceiling windows, looking out onto one of the most exquisite gardens we've ever seen. We are in Westcliff and you know that no matter which angle of this home you find yourself in. And again, as I've mentioned, books, places to sit down, and what makes it come to life more than another gas fireplace? This home has six gas fireplaces throughout it and we'll show you each and every one. So let's go explore. Leaving the family room, I'd be remiss to mention that every single room, including that family room, has speakers built into the ceiling so that regardless of where you are, you can create a symphony of sound and bring the ambience that you need into the room that requires it most. Much like this room right here, this formal dining room area that is without a doubt made to all each and every one of your guests. Two of the four walls here are floor to ceiling glass. You've got again your beveled rooftop and then these stunning, stunning stainless steel chandeliers hanging above whatever dining room table you can envision here. Obviously the owners have moved out, taking much of their custom furniture with them, but every single person I think looking at this house can envision just how it can be molded and formed into something that will take your breath away. And that garden that I'm looking at right now will definitely do that. But as you know, we save gardens for close to last because right now we have got to.
right now, we have got to pull these stunning sliding frosted glass doors open and take a peek at an incredible breathtaking kitchen. Gloss white cupboards and stainless steel handles are a few of the high-end finishes that adorn this kitchen. Both gas burners are melee as well as adduction stovetops. We've got an extractor fan kitted out in the stainless steel sitting just above that. Both of them fold away neatly and tidily into pocket sections. And here we are in a kitchen that is without a doubt a chef's dream. We've got Caesar Stone Middle Islands with a beautiful prep sink or chef sink built into it. Again, the ceiling design continues with speakers here so you can listen to music while you're enjoying whipping up your favorite meal. Stunning stainless steel handles on every single one of the gloss counters and then melee, not only gas, but also electric hob with an extractor fan above it. Heating table right here, oven over there and so much counter space for you to fulfill all your desires. But that's not all because, as we know, homes like this come with extra, extra of everything. And right here, we can see an extra oven, heating drawer and microwave. We've got space here for a double door fridge. And then when it's time to have breakfast, you can either enjoy it here at your breakfast nook with the family, but maybe you want an informal dining room area and that would be right over here. More Caesar Stone countertop extends into the informal. Under counter storage again continues on this side and can you imagine roaring fireplace, the look of winter pouring through again another floor to ceiling glass sliding door this time all of it etched with aluminum so that you know every single piece and product in this home is going to last a lifetime. While you sit here with your family in this eight seater dining room table, enjoying the life that you've earned. It again does show you just how large every single room in this house is, but also how they're all made fit for purpose. Right here in the kitchen, you also have access to your home automation system, as well as an iPad there built into the wall for your security concerns. All of it's taken. You've got round the clock security and a door right here leading out to the back of the garden, but we are gonna save that for later. Follow me through the kitchen door and out the side. Coming out the side door, you find yourself in a beautiful expanse that encompasses easily one of the most stunning staircases I've ever had the beauty of standing in the middle of. But wait until you take a look at those breathtaking views taken from the top. Now it is time for us to round off this level, the middle level of this three story home with my favorite area, the common area, the family area, the place you'll be spending the most time with your family. And the reason I say this is my favorite is for because of a couple of things. One, the beautiful windows flanking both sides of this room, letting so much natural light and added to that, the beautiful placing of not only your down lighting, but also your accent lighting in the ceiling really does bring so much warmth to a room like that. Added to that warmth is once again, another gas fireplace found right over here in the middle, really becoming quite a statement piece of this room. But probably my favorite piece of this is the design thought that went into it. The room is neither too large nor too long, with space in the corner for you to sit down, enjoy 
your corner couch and play games with the family or move up and not only enjoy the views from the windows flanking either side of the TV, but enjoy the TV itself with just enough space there to not feel crowded, nor there being too much feeling too far apart from your friends and family. And now that we've wrapped up this center floor, it's time for us to take the scenic route down to the lower level. As you can see, walking out onto one of the most beautiful as well as spacious outdoor areas, serving as your patio leads us right now to your garden area. And what a garden area this is. Beautiful tree line all around you. As you can see, stunning, old, really, breathtaking trees, I have to admit, probably one of the most beautiful gardens I've ever seen. On my left hand side, you can see there's a center there for your gas briar as well as prep area. In front of me, a beautiful boma slash fire pit for you to enjoy with friends and family. And then flanking this grand staircase, both on the left and the right are stainless steel fountains that tower above even me at six foot. And walking down the staircase, you are looking directly at a beautiful blue heated Pool that really does inspire images of something you'd find outside the White House. Now, as I've mentioned, the pool is heated as well as floors throughout the home. This home uses water pump heating, and all of that is backed up by a massive generator that can keep this house running regardless of what happens with the power situation. Now, as you can see and take in just how stunning this garden is, it runs the length of the pool, the pool cascading over an edge down to the lower garden, and that lower garden is accompanied by a basket court it's not often you find one of those but something also very uncommon to find is located right here on this downstairs area a wine cellar as well as gymnasium and directly through these doors we're going to be taking a look at both of them and here we are the lower level of one of the most incredible homes we've ever had the honor to tour behind me is that wine cellar we spoke about let's take a look at that then it's off to the gymnasium your wine cellar is closed off by a frameless glass door that leads onto a 1,500 bottle wine cellar. Slate flooring as well as accent lights hitting all the way up to the ceiling houses a space that is large enough to fit a full-sized tasting table. And now it is off to the gymnasium. And this is not just any gymnasium because walking towards it, you are greeted by a guest bathroom with both entrances from the gymnasium, but also from the main area of your downstairs floor. This gymnasium and this bathroom are both very, very special. You have got a full-sized sauna for you to sit in and enjoy the cedar wood while you sweat out all your troubles. Framed on two of the four walls with floor to ceiling glass, looking out onto that stunning garden but coming back to your guest bathroom. This bathroom has a shower as well as your single vanity and toilet, and that is not just any shower. Flanked with nozzle heads from top to bottom, there won't be an inch of you that doesn't leave you sparkling clean. And finally, after I detour through the garden, I get to utilize one of the most beautiful staircases that I've ever had the pleasure of taking a quick jaunt up to the top. And you can see exactly why I love it so much. Three stories down below you lit beautifully with the lighting throughout the home. But above us, we've got an art ceiling with not one, but two skylights letting in a lot of natural light. But talking about skylights, take a look at your outdoor balcony. Again, another two skylights letting in light to our downstairs patio. Now, this upstairs floor is very special for numerous reasons, but mainly this is where all of the bathrooms are located. So let's take a walk down this hallway and take a look at this five bedroom, five and a half bathroom luxury mansion right here in the heart of Westcliff. 
As you can see, the length of this hallway is incredible. With so much cupboard space on my right hand side and the first bedroom off to the left. The well, first bedroom is absolutely beautifully equipped with this stunning feature wall with recessed LED lighting. Like the rest of this house, this bedroom is massive with more than enough space for you to get changed, relax and lounge about. But a full wall, windows looking down onto a stunning water feature. Coming out of that bedroom, you've got access to your first bathroom. Then when it comes to bathrooms, you've got an ensuite bathroom. Not only a freestanding and stunning bathtub, but you've got this single vanity that absolutely dominates the space as almost an art. Off to the left hand side, you've got your shower right there, glass and clad, and then rainfall shower head right there ready for you. And then coming out of that bathroom, you have your next bedroom as well as your next bathroom. Now let's take a look at these epic lofts that are built into both of these bedrooms. You've got a spiral staircase leading up right to the top. Such a cozy area with a space here for you to push open and get a lot of air and also a lot of light since that's gonna give in all of that view from your ceiling. And how cool and cozy is this? Can you imagine how many kids must be loving this view? You can make this a desk, an office, or even a small lounge suite. Throw some fat sacks in the corner there, maybe a small couch, and let people just enjoy themselves. Then rounding off this 90 degree hallway is our last bathroom as well as last bedroom. And we find ourselves right here in a beautiful area for a pajama lounge or as you can see it's designed right now, a place for you to display family heirlooms, ornaments and photographs. And then we come down at this short flight of stairs with beautiful windows on my right hand side. Find ourselves in not the master bedroom but something so close it most certainly can equate. As you can see, so much space here for a bed of your choosing, built-in cupboards and a beautiful loft apartment vibe up above comprising of the ceiling. Then your very own private balcony overlooking your carport. Now that is a four car garage you see off to the left and you can also see the beginnings of a two bedroom, one bathroom cottage that is completely separate from the rest of the home. But let's take a walk down off these carpets and take a look at what the bottom of this staircase has in store for us. Down that set of carpeted stairs, you find another living area beautifully laid out with wood flooring and with so much space that an office of this size fits comfortably. Right off the carport, you'll have direct access to this without having to go through the main house. And it also has plenty of windows and a door leading out straight off to the back garden.
And that comprises that back wing of the home. Again, I need to just draw attention to how incredible this outdoor area is, specifically since it runs the length of the home with all the bedrooms having access to their very own balcony, albeit maybe not a private one, but one with an incredible view. And now it is time for the creme de la creme, the master suite, the room you have all been waiting for. And I'm standing in it as we speak. Obviously, no mansion, most certainly one in Westcliff would be remiss to have your very own walk-in closet. All of these beautiful sliding doors, keeping the lines so clean and really matching with one of the most killer features of this home is this Dutch ceiling. You can see the beautiful wood slabs holding up the peak of that ceiling. And then the keen-eyed viewers above us will notice just above us, there are these skylit windows that you can just move the blinds off if you don't want the light or open them up and then get all of that air and all of that light. Over here, once again, beautiful gas fireplace flanked with two floor to ceiling windows. And then the place where you're gonna be spending probably the most time, where I most certainly would be spending the most time is this massive king size bed. The TV rises out, out of the foot pedestal of the bed. So if you do wanna watch TV in bed, this this is the home to have it. You've got a sound system built in to the walls, since obviously the ceiling in this room at least is unique. So there are your two speakers. And then again, a sliding door leading out onto that beautiful balcony. The balcony thins on this side of the home so that you get a view of that incredible full length pool over there. And then again, these sliding stained glass pocket doors leading out onto one of the most incredible bathrooms I've ever seen. So let's talk about what you get in this bathroom. Freestanding bathtub, again, overlooking a stunning forest of a garden, as well as that pool, two separate vanities and a whole wall length of mirrors that also do open up and turn into medicine cabinets. Then you've got two pocket, well, I shouldn't say pocket doors. Let me say you've got two barn doors over here. So slightly different hanging from the ceiling that cover up your shower. Your shower has your heated towel rack and easily the largest shower head I've ever seen. The shower also has completely frosted windows that you can open up if you'd like to release some of that steam and get in a bit of air. And then obviously tucked away in the corner again with frosted glass floor to ceiling is your floating glass toilet. And that does wrap up what 30 million Rand buys you right here in the heart of Westcliff. This home was proudly brought to us by Engel and Forker's Broadacres and their branches there. Guys, do not miss an opportunity to get a viewing of this home. Call their numbers on screen right now and schedule yourself a viewing for a home that I think every single one of us can enjoy. From myself, Chad Riveros, and the team at Private Property, as well as the team that helped make this show come alive, thank you so much. We're gonna be seeing you again at 8 p.m. every Monday and Friday while we showcase some of the most beautiful homes that South Africa has to offer. I'd like you to tell us if you've ever seen a home, if you've driven past a home, if a home has taken your breath away, tell us in the comments who, when, and where you'd like us to film next. If there's a celebrity home you'd like us to check out, we're here for you, we love you. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.